Hey guys, um, this tutorial is if you want to look like Lights, the singer. Um, this is the look I created and I hope you guys like it and if you want to see how to do this then totally keep watching. Um, this is what it looks like. It's this really pretty um, black kind of smoky eye but it's, it's more of a defined wing look. It's really pretty and I think it totally looks like something you should wear. I got inspiration from one of her pictures which I'll link below. Um, if you guys want to keep watching, thanks! I <laughs> love you guys. Okay, so first, if you have anything to conceal, I would go ahead and conceal that right now. Um, um, since I'm just going to bed soon, I'm not going to conceal anything. But um, then you're just going to put on your foundation. I am using um, Maybelline Superstay. Um, it's the 24-hour one, and I'm in Classic Beige. So I'm just going to apply this with my hands because it doesn't have a pump, so it's kind of annoying when you want to use a brush. So I'm just going to put that all over. And I'm just going to blend it like with my hands. And if I'm looking over here, it's because I have a mirror here. So now that my foundation is on, um, I'm just going to take um, a big fluffy brush and this is the Sigma Large Powder F30 brush and then I'm going to set my foundation with the powder. This will um, ensure that your makeup, your, oh sorry it's late at night, um, your foundation stays on for a longer period of time. And this is the Joe Fresh, you can only get this in Canada at Superstore, uh, pressed powder in light 3. I do really like this. See, I've like hit way pan on it. So, so swirl your brush around, tap it off. You don't have to do your foundation before you do your eye makeup. Um, a lot of people like to do it the other way around, but for some reason I just like to do my foundation before my eye makeup. Um, in makeup there are no rules, so do whatever you want to do. It's totally fine. Now I'm just going to do one eye, and I'll be back, and I'll show you how to do it. So first you're going to need... Um, a base on your eye if you don't have like a black eyeliner or a black gel eyeliner or something like that then just use um, you can even use a concealer I just like to use black as it like intensifies the black eyeshadow so I'm just using um, I was supposed to say Makeup Forever Urban Decay 24 7 Glide On in Zero and just going to like messily put it on okay we'll first make the wing just make a line coming out and then you're gonna make this you know how like when you go like this um, you see like the curve of your eyeball they're gonna follow that like that and you don't want to get too high up because when you smudge it out you don't really want it to be too high out of the crease so just like roughly put some color in there. Doesn't have to be a lot, it definitely doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be smudging that out. You just kind of want um, the main shape. So that's the shape you're going for. The wing it just kind of goes right down. And I'm going to be taking a concealer brush to smudge this out. Um, it's the Sigma F70. F70, yes. And just go right over that and just smudge that. Make sure not to get a lot higher than your crease you want to still because when you you blend it out you don't want it to be like really high up so just try to keep it pretty low just like that okay now that our base is down then we're going to be taking a black eyeshadow any black eyeshadow it would preferably be matte because we're going to be using um, a shimmery gold so you don't want it to be too shimmery because lights isn't really a shimmery type of girl so any matte Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I really can't talk today. Any matte black eyeshadow will do. I'm just using the Coastal Scents in the 88 palette. I just love this palette. It's just so convenient. Um, and I'm going to be using the Sigma Eye Shading E55 brush. It's just a really dense brush that will just help pack on color really easily. So I'm just going to take some on there and tap it off. Make sure you tap it off because you are going to get fallout, but it will help prevent as much fallout. So you're just going to put it right over that, kind of 
make sure you stay on the lines. And like I said before, try not to get it um, any more higher than the crease. I forget which side of the okay, there. And just pack it on. You're gonna need to go back probably for some more color. Just like that. So now that we have um, all the black shadow on, then we're gonna go back in with a light sparkly brown. If you don't have the 88 palette, um, yeah, just a light sparkly brown and kind of make it like a taupe. If you do have the 88 palette, I'm using in the same row as the black. That's the black. We're gonna be using this one. So the fourth down in the very last row. And I'm just going to be taking um, a blending brush. This is the Sigma E40. I really, really, really love this brush. This is like my favorite brush. Just get some on there. And this color is really like, um, it comes out like a lot on the brush. So you, you definitely want to make sure you tap that off because you don't want to have like a bunch of glitter going everywhere. And so you're just going to take this and go around the edges. Um, around the top and the bottom of the wing, not on the inside, and just go back and forth. This will just help soften the edges so it's not as harsh. So you can already see it starting to work. See how this brush does everything for you? It makes everything so effortless. So we're just gonna take a little bit of that same um, brown that we just used. I'm gonna use a pencil brush. This is the E30 Pencil Brush by Sigma. Just going to get some on there, tap it off, and we're going to put this underneath um, our waterline, our lower waterline. The last step that we're going to do is we're going to go in with eyeliner. I'm going to be using um, the 24-7 eyeliner that I already used. And we're just going to be um, lining our waterline, our inner corner, and the top. Try not to pull too hard on your skin. So now you're going to take a big fluffy brush and just kind of brush away all the fallout that you may have had. And you want to use a big fluffy brush because it'll just really just get it stuck in there and take it off your face. And I've already put on mascara, but if you haven't put on mascara, then go ahead and do that now. Come on, but I'll just put on a fresh new coat. False lashes definitely aren't needed for this look. You can do them if you want it to, but I'm pretty sure lights probably wouldn't wear false lashes. Uh, Makeup Forever Smoky Lashes is like my favorite mascara ever. Um, I know I said that about all the mascaras, but I'm like dead serious about this and I'm never going to use another mascara. So now we're going to fill in our eyebrows. She has um, pretty thin eyebrows compared to me, so I'm just going to take some concealer and just go over my eyebrows. So I'm not trying to um, conceal my eyebrows. I'm just trying to make them a little bit lighter so that I don't feel like I have to make them as thick. I fill in my eyebrows. I always use... Um, this Maybelline quad, it is the Natural Smokes quad, and I always use this dark brown in the corner. So since she has dark brown hair, and I have dark brown hair, I'm just going to take some of that on an angled brush. This is the um, Sigma Small Angle E65 brush, and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. I'm just going to finish up with a little bit of blush because she doesn't, she's not very tanned, but she does have some rosiness to her cheeks. So we're just going to put that on there. A little bit more of the pink. And this is um, Max Ripe Peach, which was limited edition. Her hair. She has like a comb over, kind of like what I have. So, I'm just going to brush out my hair. Oh, I already have um, hairspray in it, so it's really difficult to brush. But basically, you just want to brush over your hair 
if this is like this is where my natural part is but see how I took the little bit extra over that's the way her hair looks just want to make sure that your hair just goes to the side like that kind of takes a lot of not a lot of hairspray but quite a bit just kind of make sure they stay and then I'm just going to let that dry and then I'm just going to put on um, a headband. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the finished look with like the headband in. I know I don't look very good with the headbands on. Um, and the makeup, just kind of like this soft, um, smoky-eyed wing look. Just very, um, you know, natural foundation looking stuff and then she kind of looks like she has pink on her lips which um, I'm going to use NARS lip tar I said NARS OCC lip tar in not quite sure what color this is sorry I'm no help um, so it's just like that it's probably a little bit too light for something that she'd wear, but what can you do? You work with what you have, right? Anything you want. So this is the finished look, and um, I hope you guys liked it, and you know, want to wear it as an everyday thing, maybe you go to a party, or if you want to be lights for Halloween, that would be awesome. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Love you guys. Bye.